How's it going? Um, I haven't done a vlog in a minute. I apologize. College student. That means doing work, homework, supposedly. But anyway, I hope everyone's doing well. Today's Valentine's Day. Or Love Days, I've been calling it. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are celebrating it in a good way with people in your life. The guy at the store who makes your sandwiches, your pastor, your mother, your father, your grandparent, sister, brother, you know, all the people need love, need love right? Anyway, um, I do not have a Bible verse for you. Uh, currently, I'm reading First Peter, um, so I hope to have something for you with the next vlog. Um, however, I am reading this book called God is Here by Steve Case. And in this book, um, it's a very good book, I've just started reading it. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard of this 17th century um, monk named Brother Lawrence. And um, he wrote this book called uh, Practicing the Presence of God. And it's a very good book. I, actually, I, I didn't read it, but <laughs> this book that I'm reading is good. God is Here. And um, I'll show it to you. God is Here by Steve Case. I'll put the link in the sidebar, of course. Um, it's a very good book. So pretty much, I, I just mentioned, right? I just mentioned the 17th, 17th century monk named Brother Lawrence. And um, <laughs> um, this book, God is Here, is kind of like, it's kind of like a mixture. It's kind of like Brother Lawrence's The uh, the Practice of the Presence of God and then Steve Case like offering like, a kind of like a talk through 21st century type of thing and like, um, commentary kind of suits so, kind of sort it's like it's like it almost feels like it's conversational like he's he's presenting a piece by brother lawrence and then he says you know i struggled with this or i didn't or this sounds like a good idea or here's how it works and that is just really amazing um because sometimes you read books and all you read is like countless information and countless countless tips and formulas and all these different things but what I like about this book thus far is it's a lot more conversational and a lot more true and like down to earth and realistic to say when something is hard, you know, like, oh man, that sounds kind of tough, but it sounds doable, you know? So I'm going to read you a, a little bit of what I read uh, today. And, um, uh, yes, it's in the, ch it's in chapter two. Uh, title God of Pots and Pans and so thus far in the chapter he's talking about like the prayer of Jabez he's saying how like, a couple years ago we went crazy with the whole prayer of Jabez I don't know if you you guys have had caught that you know um what was it uh like Lord increase my territory and all these different things and and uh, was it in second chronicles I think um yeah, first, sorry, first Chronicles, and it talks about, you know, you guys read the prayer, it's like that, it's like two lines, you know, and the info about his life is like two lines, you know, but um, I wanted to read this to you, not the part about Jabez, sorry, um, but a snippet from the book, uh, God is Here by Steve Case, alright, so, um, he's talking about, I just said the title is God of Pots and Pans, so, um, Right now, he's talking about pretty much God in everything. God being in the things that we do and not just on Sunday. So I'm going to read you. I'm going to read it, read it to you. All right. Um, we hold those people who can lift the rafters in high regard. We look forward to the Sundays when we hear them sing. We count on those moments to make ourselves feel closer to God. The king singers... The Bach chorales, St. Paul's men and boys choir, wonderful, glorious church music that lifts the soul and sends it soaring with the voice. Brother Lawrence said that we should be able to connect with God just as well as if we were cleaning the sanctuary instead of sitting in it listening to the music. It involves setting your mind and heart on the right connection. This sounds difficult, but we do it all the time. There are, mo there are movies we go see simply because we want to escape for two hours. We want the popcorn and the watered-down cherry coke, and we sit at the back so that the audience reaction is part of the experience. Or we can go see a film that everyone is talking about. It has great social relevance. We do not have the same mindset for those films. We do not buy popcorn to see Schindler's List or Ma Mel Gibson's The Passion of the Christ. 
We change the setting on that dial in our minds. You do it all the time without thinking about it. You may talk to your friends at the lunch table differently if your manager is sitting with you. Brother Lawrence encourages us to purposefully change our mindset to focus on God so that the dishes become no different than they are here. It's not about bless me, bless me more, give me stuff. It's about the pots and the pans and things. Why do we equate wealth and material goods with God's favor? Or more likely, we assume that because we don't have something that someone else does, God is mad at us or disappointed or ignoring us altogether. Make me a saint by getting meals. All hospital orderlies, stay-at-home parents, waiters and waitresses, cooks and high school lunch ladies just sat a little taller. A saint by getting meals. Saint. One separated from the world and consecrated to God. One holy by profession and by covenant. Easton's 1897 Bible Dictionary. Make me consecrated by the very creator of all things, by getting meals, mopping a floor, folding the laundry. Make me a saint by doing the most common of things. It is possible to connect with God, soul to soul, by doing all the things you are already doing. Walking across campus, driving through rush hour, waiting in line at McDonald's. That's what the practice of the presence is. Connecting, staying connected. Wow. Um, it's, that's what the practice of the presence is. The practice of the presence is, is connecting and staying connected through everything that we do. God of pots and pans. Pots and pans and things. Um, yeah, I mean, just leave a comment in the comment section. Agreeing, disagreeing. Or even giving some little bit of tidbits of how you practice the presence of God in your life. Because I would like to read about that. Um, one of the ways that I, I attempt, <laughs> my feeble attempt, at practicing the presence of God is by journaling. Um, I try to journal every morning. And I, yeah, I try to journal every morning and um, talk about whatever happened yesterday. And if it was a blessed experience or if it was something that taught me something whether it be patience or, I don't know, uh, gratefulness or openness or friendliness, like all those different things. And um, practicing the presence is not all that hard as I make it out to be and a lot of us also make it out to be. Um, but it's just connecting and staying connected. And seeing that there's, I guess there's something good that we're doing and we can involve God in it, you know, and that's pretty much it. I mean, I challenge you this week, do something refreshing, do something, put a little spin on something, you know, whether it's what you do the first time you wake up in the morning or before you go to bed, do something different to you know, start or end your day off with practicing the presence of God and journal about it or leave a response to this and just share, you know. I'd, I'd want to hear about it. I'd want to, you know, because we're a community and we're a family, you know, so I won't know unless you tell me, you know, and you won't know unless I tell you. But um, I thank you for watching my vlog. I apologize I haven't vlogged in a minute. Like I said, you know, college student, reading and studying for exams and stuff. Um, but I'm still here, missing you guys, um, praying for you guys, hoping all is well. Alrighty, I will see you guys later. Happy Love Day. Share the love with someone special. This is my token of love to you guys. And me talking about myself. But um, yeah. Link in the sidebar. See you next time. Uh, later.